Welcome back guys, it's Kids Coding Playground here. Today we will be making a dodge game in Scratch. So basically you move, you use your mouse to move the player around the, uh, the screen and if it touches the edge then you lose or if it touches any of the uh, enemy blocks moving in then you also lose and there's a timer showing how long you survive. So I'm going to um, put a demonstration of the game. So um, there's like a little countdown in the beginning. So use the mouse pointer to move around the player, as you can see. And then there's blocks go different speeds. It's kind of like the same concept in Rock Blaster, how the rocks move towards the player. So let's say you touch the edge, it'll say game over and the timer will stop. Let's say you hit an object. So we will, I'll hit an object and show you what happened as well. So as you can see, you hit it, it'll say game over. And also we can actually make this game over sprite go to the front layer. I should have done that earlier, but we'll add that in the code as we work in this tutorial. So, without further ado, let's start a new project. Alright, so in the new project, I'm going to rename the name of the game to Dodge Game. Alright, I don't really have a name for it right now, but I'm just going to call it Dodge Game. Delete the scratch cat, we don't need it. I'm going to draw my own sprite, so you, we will not be needing to put any sprites for you to download. We're just going to be drawing simple objects. So I'm just going to draw a really simple um, square. Hold down shift and you'll get a perfect square, remember? So we got to center the sprite. I'm going to hold down alt so I can make it a little bit smaller. Alright, perfect. So that's perfect size. Like a square like that. And then we'll rename the sprite to player. Alright? And then we'll make a new sprite called enemies. And it's basically just a long red block. Maybe that long. We can shrink it a little as well. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Uh, maybe a little bit bigger actually, because that's a little bit too small. Okay, that's better. That size is fine. Okay, you guys can um, put it any size you want. I'm just gonna do this. Hopefully, it's centered. Yeah, it's centered. Great. All right. So next, so now we have both these sprites, the player and the enemy. We're gonna start coding inside the, oh wait, oh there's a small dot right here, I forgot to delete, that's why I was looking a little bit weird right there, so now we have the two sprites, I'm going to rename this red to enemies, the red block, and then we're going to start coding inside the player, so inside the player we are going to get, oh when green flag clicked, so let's zoom in a little, when green flag clicked we are going to make the player go to zero zero, and hide, alright, and then after that, we're going to, so like in the demonstration, I showed you guys that in the beginning, there's a little countdown. So I'm going to make that right now. So I'm going to make a new sprite, um, do text. So inside the text, we are going to make three, uh, four sprites, sorry. I'm going to make, make it some black text. I'm going to make three. So it's going to be like a countdown. So I make it bigger, about that big. I think that's fine we can maybe a little bit smaller all right and then we can just duplicate this and then and then write two and it's centered and then we duplicate it again and then we write one so it's like a countdown before the game starts uh centered so yeah okay it's all centered and then we'll duplicate it one more time and then we'll write start Start and then center this. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller because it's a little bit too big. Yeah, okay, that's that's fine. So now we have the three costumes. Let's rename the costumes. This is gonna be three. This is gonna be two. This is gonna be one. And this is gonna be start. All right. So inside the code for this, we are going to get a one green flag clicked. We are going to show. In the beginning, we want to show this. We want it to go to the zero zero, the origin as well. And then after this we want it to switch costume to 3. So we want it to start from the largest number and then go smaller. 3, 2, 1, and then start. So we're going to do this, wait one second, and then let's, and then we're going to switch costume 2, wait one second, and then we're going to switch the costume to costume 1, wait one more second, and we're going to switch the costume to start. Remember? Start, and then wait one more second before broadcasting the message. Start. 
We're going to broadcast a message, a new message, name it start, and then we're going to hide after it's done. Alright, so with the start thing, we're going to go back to the player, and inside the player, when I receive the start message, we're going to show, it's going to show, the sprite's going to show, and then we're going to get a forever loop, forever, we're going to make this go to the mouse, so we're going to do, go to, uh, set, set x to mouse x, but we're also going to do set y to mouse y, so as you can see when you play it, there's going to be a countdown, 3, 2, 1, start, so now it'll follow the mouse pointer as you can see, alright. And then next, we're going to make a new variable. We're going to name it timer. Timer, so it's just the timer running in the back. So we're going to do a one green flag clicked. Set the variable timer to zero. Set the variable timer to zero. And then we're going to get a forever loop. So we're going to make it, if the player touches the edge, then you lose. So forever, if touching edge in the player, <clears throat> Then we will broadcast a message called game over and we'll work on it later once we make a game over sprite so game over and after that we're going to receive one more start so when i receive start we're going to reset timer and we are going to forever because the timer keeps on running so when the game starts we want to reset it again so and then after that we're going to forever set the variable timer to the sensing block timer so that's how you make the timer. Alright, so let's save it. Let's run it. So 3, 2, 1, start. So as you can see, you can move around. The timer is running, as you can see, and when you hit the edge, it will, it will broadcast the message, game over. You will make a new sprite, and it shall say game over when you touch the edge. And also we can rename the sprite to timer. Uh, it's not really a timer, but I just named it that for now. And then in the enemies, it's a similar concept to the rocks and rock blaster, as I said earlier. So inside the enemies, we're going to get a one green flag clicked. Uh, we're going to hide. And we're going to repeat three times. So we're going to make three clones. Three, and then we're going to create a clone of myself. Alright, and then when I receive start, then we are going to show the sprite over here we're going to show and then after showing we're going to go to x240 which is the um right side the far right like this side and then we're going to make it go to a random y position so we're going to maybe do pick random negative 150 to 150. <clears throat> so i'm pretty sure 150 is the top and negative 150 is the bottom that's the dimension so we're going to make a new variable for this sprite only Select for the sprite only, because we want the um, uh, enemies to move at different speeds, so we're going to name the speed, and for the sprite only. And so in here, we're going to set the variable speed <clears throat> to, we're going to make it pick random negative 6 to negative 8. So remember, we're going to the left, so it's supposed to go to negative speed. Negative 6 to negative 8. And then we're going to repeat until, repeat until touching player, so if the enemy is touching the player... So we're going to repeat this until it's touching the player. So inside here, we're going to do change x by the speed, which is pick random negative 6 to negative 8. So we're going to change the x by the variable speed. After that, we're going to get an if then statement. So basically, if it touches the left side, then we're going to make the blocks go back here to the far right. So we're going to do if the x position is less than negative 220. X position less than negative 220, then we will go to back to this position. So we can just duplicate this, trash all this, and put this in. All right, and if it touches the player down here, we're going to broadcast game over. All right, and then when I receive game over in this sprite, we're going to hide and stop all. We can also do that in the player, so when I receive game over, you can hide it. Alright, so now we're going to make the game over text sprite, so I'm going to paint a new sprite. 
Um, make it red because usually game over is usually associated with the red color. So we're gonna do game over. Oops. Game over. Okay. Then increase the size a little. Uh, shrink it a little. It's too big. All right, that's perfect size. I'll keep it like that. We're gonna rename the sprite to game over. And then we're going to go to the code, and when we I clicked, we're going to make the game over sprite, go to zero, 0, and hide. And after this, we're going to do, when I receive game over, show. Since we already stopped all in the enemies, then we don't have to stop all here. Alright, and then finally we can add a little music. So let's go to sounds. I'm just going to pick a random song. Uh, loops. Oh yeah, I like this one. Cave is pretty good, so I'll keep this one. So uh, when green flag clicks, inside the backdrop we're doing this in. So we're gonna do a forever loop and put the music. Uh, Playing out, cave it's all done. All right, you can also add a backdrop if you'd like. All right, so let's turn on the volume a little bit. And I can hear the music a little. And as you can see, you can move right around. The red blocks come randomly. And if you touch a red block, then it'll say game over, and the timer will stop. Now I'll touch the edge. Um, I'll show you guys if you touch the edge, you also came over. So yeah, that's pretty much the tutorial for today. A little dodge game. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye.